Well, this weekend, Cook Museum of Natural Science is celebrating the fifth anniversary of its new location. And here to tell us all about it are Kelly Geck, Kinsey Kaysen, plus a special friend. Ladies, welcome to the show. I'm so excited to meet DJ here. We got DJ with us. Um, before we dive in that, though, five years. This is really exciting. Tell me what you yeah. guys have planned to celebrate the sweet anniversary. Yeah, so we have a whole bunch planned for this weekend. So it is going to be a big celebration for our um, museum. And it'll be on the 8th and 9th this weekend, for, on Saturday and Sunday. And we have a whole bunch planned, so we're going to have a lot of different hands-on events that you guys can go participate in, a lot of door prizes and giveaways, which will be super fun. And we have a lot of different, actually, live animals coming in from a lot of different um, partnerships that we have. And um, hopefully, with the weather permitting, we'll have our outdoor inflatables. It'll be super fun to bounce oh, on, <laughs> which is so much fun. We love a good inflatable. Yeah. That's fantastic. And then our members will also have a lot of double discounts that will be offered to them for the museum store and the nature's table. Okay, so wonderful. Yeah. Well, ladies, you also mentioned live animals, which of yes. course we have to tap in there. Yes. This is DJ, and I forgot yes. what DJ, he has a weird, it's a weird species. <laughs> yes, <laughs> what, what is he this? is a lizard, and it is known as a common chuckwalla. Chuckwalla. Yes. <laughs> I practiced that before I got on air, and then I got a little <laughs> nervous, and I didn't want to hard commit. So this is a chuckwalla. Tell me yes. all about DJ here. Yeah, so DJ is an ambassador animal for the museum. He is five years old. He'll be six in August. Wait, he's just as old as the museum. Yeah. Has he been right? there? Was he born there at the museum? He wasn't born there. <laughs> okay. He was maybe a year old by the okay. time he got there. Yeah. 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 Yes. He's lived his little life with there. Us. Yeah. He has an amazing color right here. Can you yes. hold him up right there? That is fantastic. Yes. Are all, do all of them kind of have this orange patch? The males are brighter than the female, so they, depending on which species of chuckwalla, they could be the orange, they could be more yellow, just depending on where okay. they're from. Okay. Um, but and he the... is doing great. He's super chill with us today. Yeah. <laughs> are they normally pretty, pretty docile? Yeah, they're okay. pretty calm. Okay. And they're, I think they're native to some kind of desert area, Mexico yes. and yep. even in western parts of yeah, the U.S. Yeah, so the southwestern United States. Um, they're in the Mojave and Sonoran deserts. Amazing. What do they eat? Yeah. Um, they are mostly herbivores, okay. um, a lot of desert plants, sure. um, but you know, they they can also eat some insects as too. Wait, so fantastic. It, and it is in the iguana family. It looks just yes. like an iguana. Yep. Probably smaller though, a little bit right, of a smaller, yeah. smaller yeah. species. Well, hey DJ, has he been on TV before? He's doing fantastic. No, this is his first time. This is his TV <laughs> debut, everyone. And look how calm and fabulous he was yeah. born for the cameras. We are loving him. Of course, again, fans can meet him at the museum. Ladies, tell us one more time who you guys are, where you are, all that's going down again this weekend. We need tickets and kind of just been one big recap to be a part of this special special time. Yeah, yeah. So again, so we are on the animal care staff. My name is Kelly Gack and this is Kinsey Kasson. Um, we are the live animal manager and the assistant live animal manager. And this weekend, then we're going to have our fifth year anniversary for the museum, which is super exciting. So we are five years this weekend and um, we're going to have a whole bunch of different stuff. All of our prices. Is that what you said? You want our prices? Yeah. yeah. Or just, we do need a ticket. It is a ticketed event. Yes, it is a ticketed so event. So sure yes. to get your tickets in advance. Yes, also, something else we wanted to mention there's a big giveaway going on a Decatur huge, downtown experience yes huge giveaway so this weekend then um, you can actually go online and you can enter into it and there's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff that the museum's giving away where we are gonna um, offer out where they'll be able to have one night at the Doubletree Hotel down, downtown Amazing. and then there's gonna be about a $200 gift card to the museum and about over $150 worth of gift cards for downtown <gasps> Decatur experiences too Fabulous. and businesses. we love cool. Decatur we love you guys, this was my trip to the Cook Museum not too long ago. Oh, yeah. You're open seven days a week now. We do want to stress. Yes, open seven yes. days a week. Seven days um, a week. And also, I also got to experience, I don't know if we'll be able to show, but the new mining exhibit is open outside. Yes. Which yes. is fabulous. Super you can mine fun. for little rocks. I think that's what we yeah. love about y'all is you're so interactive. Again, they, they bring live animals on set. You can interact <laughs> there at the museum, and it really is so fantastic yeah. in many ways. Voted like number one attraction yeah. not too long ago, yeah. a few years ago. And um, that's actually because of our new exhibit, the mining sluice. That's actually why we brought DJ, because he is our little ambassador for all of our rocks and deserts out there. <laughs> so he's fabulous in every way. A TV star by day, a mining ambassador by night. It's so perfect. Give him a raise. I don't think yeah. he gets paid anything, but maybe pay him a little something. Ladies, thank you again so much for coming on. Hey, yeah. huge congratulations for five years. That's gonna be a big thank deal. You. So y'all have fun this.